Hello everyone, JK Origami here, and today I'm going to teach you to how to fold my origami fish on a fishing rod. This model is folded from one square sheet of paper, this one from 35 by 35 centimeter foil, and this one from 15 by 15 centimeter foil. And you can tell the difference, they're quite different in size. But for this model, I would recommend actually a, um, a 25 by 25 centimeter paper. And I would recommend foil because there are quite a few layers. And I would say you need to be about an intermediate level to fold it. So you need some experience. So let's get, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to use a 25 by 25 centimeter kami to show you how to fold this. So we are going to start white side up, or sorry, color side up, and we're going to fold in half. Unfold. Flip the model over, and you are going to bring this edge here, the bottom left, to the crease. Now flip the model back over and fold both edges to the center. And make sure when you do the edge with this part folded in, you make sure it doesn't slide. So on this side, it's still touching the center. Okay. So unfold, and now divide into eighths. So fold each, each, fold the edges to each line. And make sure it's as precise as possible. And again, make sure the layer doesn't slide. Now, we're going to make a fan fold into sixteenths. So rotate the paper, and we're going to divide each section in half, and we'll get sixteenths. Keep going until the entire paper is done. So on this side, you need to be a little bit care more careful. Because again, we don't want the layer to slide. So just keep going. Then you should have something like this. And you can unfold. Well, actually, keep the parts that have the whole paper. So here, that have two parallel edges, two sets of parallel edges. Keep those folded. Here we have this diagonal part. We are going to do 
some box pleating now. So unfold this layer, and you'll see we have creases going this way now. So we're going to reverse all the creases going this way. So this becomes a mountain. Fold. And then it connects with that one. And then you close it up slightly and then continue with the next one. Valley. Close it up slightly, continue with the one after. And keep going until the entire half is done. And then you should have something like this. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to take this edge, and you can see this part up here. We're going to get rid of this crease and make this crease here on the side a valley fold, like that. And this crease here becomes a mountain, so like that, and like that. And you can fold this entire edge along that crease. Now we're going to work on this bottom part here. So take two edges here, hold them as one, and bring the bottom edge to the corner. Looks like that. Unfold, fold them over, and do one more. Once you've done that, you're going to inside reverse fold all of them. So like that, like that, and like that. Now we're going to do the Elias stretch. Stretch this, make the crease, squash, and repeat. On the next one, stretch wash, make the crease, and make the crease. So now we have something like this. We're going to do one more stretch, make the crease under here, and then squash it. And you can fold it up, so now it looks like this. Now you're going to fold it back down, and you are going to fold it so that this edge here aligns with that crease there. Now, you're going to pull this layer out from underneath and make this valley fold a mountain fold. And make this crease next to it a valley fold as well. Now you have something like this. And we'll leave this like that for now. Except, on the bottom here, open up the edges. There's only two, so open it up. And fold this part up a little bit. Not very far, but like that. So now again, we'll fold this top layer back down along that crease. And now we are going to work on the fish. So you're going to bring the, the this edge to that crease. There are quite a few layers. But what you're going to do now, now that you have that crease, you're going to sort of pleat it a 
about like this. So the top part's a bit over, and this part's about in the middle. Increase. Now unfold, open up the layer, and you're going to fold all these creases. So you're going to make the straight line, mountain folds. And then the ones behind, the, the crooked ones, are going to make mountain folds. Or, you're going to make valley folds, sorry. And keep going. If you crease it nice and sharply, it should be quite simple to do. But, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go adjust them to make sure they're even. Okay, that's pretty good. So now you should have something like this. So now at the back, you're going to take one, two, three layers, hold them as one, and fold the edges down. And now we're going to repeat what we did down here with the Elias stretches. So you're going to inside reverse fold, inside reverse fold, and then you're going to stretch them and collapse them. Okay. And then once you're done, you can fold the edge. You can fold it upward. Okay. Like that. And then you're going to repeat on this side. So take three edges, fold them over. Make the inside reverse folds. And then complete the Elias stretch. Should look like this. So now that you have this, you're going to bring this edge, we're going to fold the flap um, back down like that, and you're going to bring this edge to the crease. That. Then you're going to fold this edge to that edge. Then you're going to bring this entire flap forward. And you're going to fold this edge up and open it and squash it forward like that. Watch, it's backward. But squash it. And it looks like this. And it's almost done. Now we just fold a bit on the top down, a bit on the side down like that, a bit diagonal, parallel to the outer line, and then a little bit on the bottom, like that. And then with, the, with this part, you just tuck it behind. Just fold it over behind. And then it looks like that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, actually I should zoom in. And now what we're going to do is we are going to fold the same thing on the other side. And you 
want to try to make them look the same. Once they're done, they should look like fins. Now what you're going to do is on the back, you're going to fold both edges down on in the, down like that. And you're going to inside reverse each one. Once you do that, you're going to do another Elias stretch. But instead of squashing it here, instead of squashing it like that, you're going to squash it forward. Like that. Once you've done that, you can fold one edge of the tail down. It's going to come to the side with this part. About like that. The other one's going to fold on top of it. And you're going to fold it up at a bit of a different angle. Something like that. And then you can just shape it a little bit. Kind of bend it. With foil or tissue foil, it's a lot easier. And then you can fold parts of it behind to make it look a bit narrower, more like a fish. And you can shape the head a little bit. I'm going to leave mine like that for now, but now comes a hard step. We're going to take this layer here and fold it up to the top. And in here, we're going to make a bit of a, of a diagonal crease to the corner down here. So that looks like that. And you're going to keep going all the way until you get to the crease over here, this crease. And repeat on the other side. Once you're done that step, you're going to bring the edge we're going to bring this edge here together like that. And you're going to make crease. And you're kind of making a rabbit ear over here. And underneath, the layer will want to go here, so it'll be like a square. And you just keep going until you can't go any further, which will be when you reach the fish. And just squish it as hard as you can, and then you have something like that. And then you kind of rotate it a bit curve it so that the fish is in line with the rod and then after this you can shape the head better I'm just going to leave mine like that and now we'll work on finishing up the rod so for this part here we're going to kind of fold the rod in half not a very strong crease but we kind of just want to curve it and bring this edge down to this crease like that and then now you can curve it. And then pull this corner out a bit. And flatten it down. Just so that when you curve this, it stays put. Now you're going to fold this edge to that edge. Like that. And then you're going to make kind of a petal fold here.
you can kind of prop it up a little bit so it stands up. And then you fold this edge around there and around there just to make it sort of like a reel. And then you can round the corners. And then you're pretty much done. You can always shape it more. And if you have big enough paper, you can fold this in half again to make it thinner. That's what I did with this one. I fold it in half twice. With this one, I only did it once. And yeah, it's pretty good. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you, I hope you like this model especially since it's summer now and please give it if you like it please give it a thumbs up and I'll, I'll be back soon with more cool creations tutorials and demos thank you for watching and as always enjoy